I mean, honestly, I I ran about my grandma because to me, her her stamp was more important than everybody's mm, anyway. Fact, for sure. And uh, I guess he kind of got the news. Through you her. Know, second hand. Oh, no, grandmama came. gonna tell it. Is. Grandmama uh, gonna tell he got her have, sons, uh, her sons, yeah, everything, yeah, man. <laughs> and uh and so by the time she approved, I really honestly I didn't really care. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what is but I love it kind of having simultaneous, but for her feedback to be like, you know, uh well, whatever you do, like, you know, I trust you you'll yeah, do it yeah. well. Her, her, it her literal advice was like Rap about love, like it'll last longer. Like you see, Ooh. LL Cool J still got a career, and it kind of—I so, had to take a step back. Yeah. Like LL Cool J probably was on the tail end of putting out music, mm -hmm. but yeah. he had, you know, went Crossed to TV, over, TV, movies, and he sitcom, still probably yeah. had a hit here yeah. and there. You Most know? definitely. And I, I he thought had about it. Head sprung. And um, yeah, that was probably the. <laughs> bro, what don't, don't let me head sprung. No, it I was like a hit. That was a hit. Head sprung. You ever been right in the line of fire? How the fuck you gon' tell me where to draw the line and why? I keep it on me all the time cause I ain't trying to die I'm traumatized even when I'm smiling, it's like I'm crying and sad We in the streets Hey, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Lando Excel, Mr. 18 Pockets And yo, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. McGee, a.k.a. Boopy, a.k.a. Born Rich And Lano. What up, though? Hey, man, we got a Fire guest today. A, I was gonna say, say a badass guest. You I don't know, say hell but yeah. man, listen, homie, we got a badass guest, man, a fire top. guest, man. We got yes. a um, we got a not, legend, an icon. Talk to him, big not, homie. Not only that, man, we got a person that's uh, uh been putting on for the city for years, man. Most definitely, the whole city on his back. Hell yeah. I know, I know his knees tired, legs tired, Gotta everything be. tired. Special Cabin, he nervy, nigga. <laughs> Put his shit on his back, man. But also, besides that, man, he's a great man. He's a father. Yes. You know what I mean? I don't, yes. Because I don't want to box him in and just say he's a musician. You know what I no, mean? This no, man no, is no. way more than that. Um, uh, ex Hooper. You know uh, ex Hooper? <laughs> yeah. You, who? Yeah, you told me, bitch. hold on, you told me. Oh, you did say you could beat him. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. But uh, without further okay. ado, man, let me introduce your brother, my brother, For our sure. brother, Starlito in For the sure, building. Man. We got Starlito. What's what up, up with you, Star? Man, we in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? I'm all right. How y'all doing? Man, we, we doing, doing well, good. man. What about the family? Family good? Yeah, everybody good. Listen, man, I sold you this off camera, but we on camera, so I got to say it. Listen, I am so happy that you pulled up because... I said that he didn't know you for the last seven years, man. Hey, we go back 30 years. Nigga hating, man. Yeah, I was hating. You hating. You hating. Can a nigga just say he was hating and you forgive him if he was hating? No, we talking, man, Megs, bro. Megs. Okay, keep going. Cavaliers, nah, fifth grade. Yeah. yeah. This is when you was beating him in basketball. Was you beating him in basketball then? Was you beating him in basketball then? Of course. He probably was. All the way up until what age? Up until now. He quit up, up until now. It's a gross spurt. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, he hooped a little longer than me. I'll give him that. I'll so, give him uh, that. okay. He, he started you know. after you and hooped longer yeah, than you. Yeah, but he's younger than me, though. He's my brother. He's younger than me, though. He younger yeah. than me. Speaking of being younger, uh, because I asked him this uh, off camera also. So, you you like, you like got skipped the grade, right? Mm, I skipped first grade. Yeah. You skipped. I, <laughs> all right, but, but tell him the back. You nigga acting like it was I remember this 12th though, grade. But it's crazy because I remember this, though, because you could count to some stupid number. Yeah, I, I put that in a song, in a life story song. I said I skipped first grade, so I could count to a million. But it was a, it was a little bit deeper than that. It was a uh, shit, Kenna, nigga. Kenna Gordon was just born. Yeah, time, okay. And uh, we was coloring the same worksheets every day. And I told the teacher I ain't doing this no more. We need to read or something. And she was like, "You can't read." And uh, and so she wrote a note to my mama. It was like, "Get us to your parents when you get home." And I picked up the note and I read it out loud. She was like. Damn, we can't read. Damn, straight yeah. to her, you read it out loud. And then I uh, picked up the newspaper off her desk and read it to her. So she went to the principal, like, I think he's a little advanced. Yeah, you know how old was you then? Six? Five, five, six? Yeah, five or six. Yeah, five or six. Yeah. Shit, nigga, I ain't learn how to read till last year. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. That nigga's slow. That nigga's slow in the ball, boy. <laughs> That's why I went to White's Creek. <laughs> oh, no. Shout out to White's Creek. Nah, no, I'm just playing. White's Creek. We love, I yeah. love White's Creek, man. Nah, yeah, I walked. I'm, I'm bullshit. And you know what's crazy, though? I did remember that, man. I did remember yeah. that when you, uh, when you got the mix. You told us that story. I also remember... I knew you skipped the grade because you was a little younger than us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you was a little younger than everybody else in the class. Yeah. But when it came to them numbers <laughs> and that math shit, hard. 
Hard. He was younger than us, but went to a higher math class than us. Because he was smarter than y'all. That's why. So I went, he was I, younger yeah, than y'all, really but he went. Say. Yeah, he was smarter really than y'all. I don't really want to say all that. Oh, but all right, but that, that, that's cool. But the high school you went to, uh, uh, Hume Fall. Yeah. Hume Fall. Shout, matter of fact, shout out to Hume Fall, man. That was, uh, yeah, yeah, was it in the state? Was that in the yeah, state? Yeah, went to the state tournament in basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got their ass whooped. But, <laughs> hey, they, might, they went. They went. <laughs> nah, we ain't going to hate. We not going to hate. They went. Yeah, they, they went. Is that the only high school downtown? Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess, yeah. Damn. Now, what was Lido like uh, in high school? Was you rapping, already rapping, or not, or hooping? To, uh, I was, I mean, basketball was my first love then. I yeah. Was, I was hooping morning on. I was skipping class to hoop and all that. But but uh, I started going to the studio probably the 10th, 11th grade year with, uh, you, if you remember, Kendall McFadden. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I used to ride to the studio with him at the school. We would, like pull our money together. I was making beats on a little keyboard. And uh my first trip to the studio was probably may have been eleventh grade because I wanna okay. say I was on a basketball. So team. before rapping, you was try you was making beats. For, you was, for a minute. Yeah, I yeah. wanted to I actually wanted to be the producer. Yeah, probably. for sure. I wanted to be the man of the the That's why I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, yeah. Hard when everybody was rapping, I, I yeah. really in the back <laughs> yeah. of my mind. Yeah, it was mind, the I wanted corporation. To, yeah, I wanted to be the. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember listening to a Farage song one time in Little Apartment. You remember that? Y'all, yeah. we had a blank CD, yeah, and we, we listened to yeah, him. Was I was like, damn, that nigga hard. Yeah, that was yeah, 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 yeah. That was back in the day. Uh, 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 speaking of that though, uh, Lito, you know, because um. Like I don't know if you dissed me uh, in the line or what you did, but <laughs> this <laughs> Boopy wanted to rap. I just wanted to Mac line that you said a long time ago in the rap, man. I don't we think got that's yeah. What I said. I don't, I, yeah, but it me, was. But I was that's the same is. time frame I was talking about. Like I think I said something about uh. I was wanting to make the beats, or I had the list. To okay, yeah, me too. I don't, I don't know. But, like, but this nah, shit I was hit my saying, line. Uh, yeah, I was rapping, and I was like, I thought that was like the coolest thing in the world. I ain't really had a, the confidence to, or really even the desire to be the rapper. I just thought it was cool that y'all was rapping. Yeah. I wanted to, um, even that one of the first songs that y'all made, I figured out how to play it on the keyboard and everything. Yeah, I used to freestyle to it over Bradley House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a little, little toy keyboard about this big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, I'm going to be the... Um, I'm gonna be the beat man, you know, like Torrance and yeah, and yeah, was Street Symphony. Be- Street Symphony yeah. is making the beats for uh, for what was it? for the Untouchables. Ah, uh, the and Mike was, Mike something, uh, right? Like uh, Jody and, and oh, oh, I right. remember yeah. the Untouchables. Okay, Jody's and KC. Uh, KC, yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah, say yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I, remember I was looking KC at it like together. our mm-hmm. age range. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I, w- I would be the. The beat we was man. gonna be the junior yeah. untouchables. That, exactly. that was our Damn, whole, that was our whole shit. Shout yeah. out to KC, yeah. man. KC just showed love on the Instagram he did. too. Yeah. Shout out to he KC. Just dropped the, uh, project. I'm on yeah. the, He most definitely. Did. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah, we always wanted to be the junior untouchables. Yeah, that's what sure. niggas that's don't so, know. Yeah. So that's, that's KC. What I was referencing, if anything, was yeah. like y'all was rapping, and I was like, man, I gotta figure out how to make these beats. Like you said, <laughs> yeah. that was actually. So it was never a desire to ever really just go. Forefront and rapping, not not day one, not mm. we was probably thirteen, mm. was about that's, thirteen, that's, something like that. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. We was not young, at that time. Um, but as I started actually making the beats, I would always write something to the beats I mm-hmm. made and the people I was around that was rapping. By that time, when I would play the beats for them, I might let them hear what I wrote to it. And I'd yeah. man, you got to get on there, yeah, jump on there with yeah, us. Yeah, by yeah, the time yeah, yeah. I'm going to the studio with the beats, they them they're making me get on the song. Then as we letting people hear the song, it's like, man, you you can go. It was like I said, it was I don't know if it was confidence or what. It just wasn't in the front of my mind. Like, Most definitely. But then I started hearing other people beats, and I felt like my beats were sorry. Like yeah. when we get <laughs> okay. other beats, okay. I'm like, shit, they beats harder than mine, so yeah. I rather rap on those mm. than my own. And and the beats, the production just kind of faded from there. And then I'm you saying? came in with the rapping though. Yeah, and, and killed it. it. Yeah, I mean, killed it, man. So, um, I know this though. So early, early, like in your rap career, uh, I remember you had Low as a manager, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, Lionel Matthews. Shout yeah, out I was say, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Lionel What's Matthews, up? man, doing his uh, uh uh politician thing. You feel me? Whenever mm-hmm. I want to get a fucking politician on the show, most that's definitely the first reach out. I call. Reach out, yeah. But um, like, how did that come? How did that come to be though? To get Lionel Matthews as your as your manager back in them days. Uh, coming out of high school, like by the time like we was graduating, uh, me and me and Farah were trying to 
form a group, like a two man group at the okay. time. That's his, that's his older brother. Yeah. And uh, we were all going to TSU, and you know, just just being in in the company of uh, one another, like low was a little older than us, had a little bit more like business Absolutely. sense, business savvy, and was trying to like take some of what he knew on a professional level and, and impart that into us just being mm-hmm. kids yeah, and, and yeah, just yeah. some raw talent. And I think by that time, a lot of people saw like potential in me, maybe that I ain't even seeing myself. Mm. And uh, it was just trying to get it organized. And like I said, Lowe was, he was more of a like- He uh, seen the potential though. Yeah, yeah. A, a forward thinker and a, a person with some business savvy. Like he, he helped me take myself serious. Yeah, within for sure. This. But uh, you know, it wasn't <clears throat> that much business to be done early on. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, but I can say like he, he helped me like get a lot of things like organized early on. And just for your brand, your name, uh, your music? Just overall, just, just approaching it as, as a business. As a business, yeah. As yeah. Most business, definitely. Yeah. As I positive. think that's what happens with a lot of artists is that they approach it not as a business, right? They just yeah. approach they just it as, rap. yeah, I just wanna rap until you start gaining momentum. Mm-hmm. And then you notice, like you said, now I got I got to get myself in order. Mm-hmm. So somebody who had that vision for you before you even had that, right? Yeah, I can remember this one this one story. This is <clears throat> like even some of these questions I never been asked, you know, because like brother know me personally, yeah, so absolutely. I know some of some of the roots, some of the foundations of yeah. it. I can remember going like my freshman year at TSU. It was a big music conference that that came through. It was like Opryland or something. Mm-hmm. We went and audition <laughs> and. Uh, you know, if you got selected, then you were supposed to go to Atlanta for this bigger conference mm-hmm. with all these executives yeah, yeah, and leaders. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, from the audition, we got selected to go to the Atlanta one. When it was time to go to Atlanta, Low was like, "Hey, I don't think y'all ready. I don't think y'all, like I don't think I got it all the way together." Mm-hmm. To, you know what I'm saying? And we, I'm 17 at the time, and you can't really tell us nothing. Yeah. We really like, man, you hating, you you hating yeah. on us, this and <laughs> yeah. that. Like, yeah. It costs like 500 or something mm-hmm. to to go to the bigger conference. We had the for money. the entry of it. Yeah. Yeah. We had the money together. So we were like, it ain't your money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just yeah. being stubborn <laughs> and whatever else. But the thing was, you know, he's our manager, and we're gonna be riding with him. He basically like, I ain't taking y'all down there. Yeah. Kind mm-hmm. of thing. I'm like, damn, like, how you don't believe in this yeah. kind of thing? And uh, you know, I'm I'm like a freshman. I'm I'm at TSU at the dorm and everything. And yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. hot about it. And I just happened to um just doing some research on my own, really sitting there mad about it. Find out it was a scam. You know what I'm mm. saying? I did some research and they had all these complaints from the Better Business Bureau. Yeah. Damn. And I, I really didn't know if he saw that or if it was just some some they foresight him, or like yeah, why yeah. why we What's the odds of you taking five hundred and going and, and putting going it on a million exactly. and going to get a record deal? Exactly. Like this sound too good to be true. But back like, in them days, you was ready. Like, what a, yeah, yeah, what you a, was I, ready. I and this how you got a record earn. deal back in those days, hey, yeah, though. Man, I done wrapped in front of fucking JT Money, yeah. Trick Daddy. They yeah, had yeah, probably paid them, them yeah, to I went sit to a there for yeah. three hours and listen to niggas rap. And they know they got the intention. They ain't gonna never sign nobody anyway. They come. Shout out to Low, man. I ran up on Low made us run up on JT Money in the bathroom. The uh, Opera Land uh, com- uh, uh, hotel, the sun, yeah, the nigga. Type of time. like Jack the Rapper type and shit. And we yeah. ran yeah. up Probably on him. Something that's supposed to be like that. Yeah, but it just was. But, but he scandal. got us in the building. Yeah, we in that motherfucker like crisscross. We but the little young niggas running. I'm around reading all these Shout complaints. Up. I'm like, damn. So it was one of the things like maybe he do got our, our best interests hard because mm-hmm. it was like I said, it was just five hundred dollars, but it was like. Why waste our time? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was more, he was more thinking like that. Like, why waste our time when this don't even feel right? When we can make build it and make them come to you, kind of thing. And That's what I want to yeah. ask. Once you did start taking it serious, right, for mm-hmm. your music, and you started gaining um, momentum and stuff like that, did you continue? Did you and Low still continue that relationship? Well, it was probably like another year past that I started putting out music within a year, and um, I started putting out music in November of 03, put out my first project. By the, by the summer of 04, I was getting offers. Like, mm. I, I put out a project every three months for the next year. I dropped November 03, February 04, May 04, and by between that May and August, I dropped volume four in August. Between May and August, I was having record deal offers. Okay. Within a nine month span, and uh, Honestly, I think the people that I was getting those offers from, 
they were kind of trying to phase the management out. Yeah. Mm. And, and it's because of, I think it's that thought of like too many chefs in the kitchen or like I can say in hindsight, Lo was definitely like a voice of reason or somebody mm -hmm. that was like, mm. had my best interests at heart, but the way this industry is structured is like, we really want to keep artists as ignorant as possible. Yeah, and, most definitely. And blind them by the yeah. bells and whistles the about and glam, this. And it's yeah, kind of yeah. like, man, well, that's just somebody else going to be in your pocket and we don't really want to have to talk to a third party. We can talk to you. And I think Lo oh, saw, saw it for what it was mm -hmm. and... We didn't. We never like clashed or fell out mm -hmm. as a result of it. It was just kind of like, all right, well, these are my ideas, and this is the way I want to approach it. And I can see you might want to move at this pace, and I don't want to be in your way. Most of it. And we just kind of went yeah, our separate, o yeah. separate ways, mm -hmm. and and kind of maintained the same relationship. You know what I'm saying? Outside nine of that. months and, is fast. And I think that was a part of it too. Like everything was happening like faster than I could even mm -hmm. like. Four out faster than I could have like imagined or, or conceived it all. Cause yeah. like I said, nine months from hey, let's put some music out to nine months later, like you on the road, people mm. calling for you, checking for mm. you, sending for you, flying you out. Yeah. You sitting in here's a piece of paper. Yeah. Here's a what's you your first phone out? call? Like what's your first phone call for any label? You ain't got to name the label, but just what was your first phone call when you was like, damn, like, I'm I'm getting an offer. Uh, I got some calls that I had a hard time. Telling that they was legit or not, cause oh, at the yeah. time I had like my number to my cricket phone on the CD, mm -hmm. so yeah, I got yeah, yeah. prank Back calls. In them days. I got you know, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. it may have been yeah. I never knew if it was, like this was a funny story. When I got a call from Yo Gotti, I was uh, I'll give y'all the real, the extra insight. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Let's you. talk it. I'm at TSU. This is like spring. This is spring semester, my sophomore year, so oh four. I get a call, and, and I just had a situation that uh, someone trying to, a, a, a robbery gone wrong uh -huh. uh, near the campus, we'll say that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, things as far as circulate, we find out the people on the other side of this attempted robbery was from Memphis. Okay. And it's just, you know, TSU culture. If you ever mm -hmm. spend time around there, it's a lot of people from out of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Memphis, time, Memphis yeah. deep in there. Yeah, Memphis deep in TSU. We exactly. know that. And um and so a situation happened, it some some things happened and it, you know, it, it whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a couple of days later and I'm on like high alert as a result of the situation. And I get a car, I see a nine on one number popping up on my mm -hmm. phone. So at this point, I'm like, kind of got a chip on my shoulder about like anybody that's from, from yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nine on one. What's the situation? Up, yeah, yeah what's like, and uh, so I answer the phone. I'm like leaving class, and I, I answer the phone. It's like, hey, what's up? This uh, this star, uh, this got it. I'm like, what? Who is this? It's like, this your got it. I'm like. Man, quit playing on my phone. You know, yeah. like the yeah, Master P, up. no, no yeah, limit. Yeah, like, we hang quit. up. I, was y'all guy a big artist at this time? He was big enough. Yeah, he, was, yeah. he, he was, had the what's up out? Nah, he oh, had okay, a okay. guy white, cheap, cheap price. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shotty, Still be. The yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was, it was, he was popular. So you yeah, knew, yeah. I knew who well, y'all yeah, yeah, was. We got it early. But to me, the odds of this being y'all got it on the other end of my phone is like, man, get out of here. Like, I was a backpack full of weed at the time. Like Most definitely. Thinking about who just tried to jack me the other day. Yeah. yeah, yeah on yeah. that. And uh, I'm like, man, whatever. I hang up the phone. Number Kyle back. I'm hot by this time. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just like, who who is this playing with me? He was like, this, uh, I got the right number, this this all star. Or he, I'm calling for, I'm like, yeah, this is me. He, he was like, I try to catch the voice, and I'm like, damn, this, like, what's up? He was like, man, I just got a hold of your CD in a barbershop. I was just reaching out, seeing what your situation was, this and that. So I'm like, yeah. I kind of had to yeah. backpedal like, damn, because it's, again, it's during this time when I'm getting these kind of calls. Mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. But it's, I'm not really, I'm committed to the music, Most but definitely. I ain't committed to the, the dream or the scale of it. Like, I, uh, I myself yeah. ain't, yeah. ain't really see. Yeah, you trapping in TSU, man. Come I, on. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's just, just live, it's just day yeah. by day. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. And, and um, I'm like, Damn, you know what I'm saying? So we have a He was like, well, I'm going to be up there. I'm going uh, to pull up on you. Woo -woo. I'm like, all right, I get off the phone. I'm still just like probably on campus walking. Like, damn, that was still kind of a little skeptical. Yeah, but when he definitely. told me, like, who he got the CD from or the barbershop. It's starting like, to make it, sense. Some dots connected. I'm like, oh, okay, I do know such and such. Yeah. And I was like, all right, you know, hit me. 
And uh, within probably a week or so, we was recording music up at Fade Eastwood Studio, Trendy Lane. Yeah. We pulled up, we had the storage unit, making music. I think I, I went with him to a show in Clarksville, just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seeing how he was moving. And even at that time, you know, he was probably a step higher on the ladder than where yeah, I was. Absolutely. So it was one of the things like, damn, this is, this is real, because this is. It's still tangible, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, most, it's touchable now. Yeah, like he ain't on TV yet, but I see like he making rap. Man. Yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? And, and as we, it's possible. Trunk, and, and it's uh, it's it's uh, it's more like something that that I can relate to. Most like, definitely, absolutely. How he was moving was not so different than how me and my guys were moving already. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. It's it just like, like with a little bit more money. And you structure, and a, little, more and structure. Structure. a little more structure, a little more structure, a little more like but information. You can see it. And I'm like, shit, I could do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't really have those examples. I think uh, Buck was he was out of here by that time. He was already, I think, had, had gone platinum. Well, that may have been the same year that that his debut album, album, that, that dropped, album dropped, and he was okay taking off. But even that happened relatively fast. Yes, like, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because all that happened during. I my always initial say that, coming. and I don't want to stop you, but I always say that. I always say. Um, when I got the news, I want to say when we were sitting in the gutter and we seen Buck on Rap City. That's kind of mm -hmm. when we got the news yeah, the first yeah. time that yeah. he was on Rap City and he was rapping. Yeah, we yeah, was like, yeah. "Damn, that's Buck." But at that time, it was your name too was mm -hmm. kind of going in the signed. Air, you know what I'm saying? Even though you saying that you was just around these guys on the outside looking in, like me, we thinking, "Oh, he's signed." Yeah, mm -hmm. if you going to Clarksville with your Gotti, that was mm -hmm. yeah, that was. Around that same time is also like kind of the timeline of it. I dropped out of school not long after that because mm. I started to see this is real. I'm making money out for out for the music. You know what I'm saying? Along with people calling me, labels and otherwise, mm -hmm. there's also people calling me like, "Hey, how much to get on one of our songs?" Yeah, you know? and it's like, "Oh shit, I can make money out this rather than by this time I'm paying to go to school." Mm. And so I'm like, "How much sense does does this make?" Most definitely. I can go over here and make some mm -hmm. money, or I can take the chance and, and, and go for this, or I can sit still and, you know yeah, what I'm saying? and I'm do the school in thing. Class three, four mm -hmm. days yeah. a week. Yeah. And I'm going to school to try to figure out how to get to I, this next get to level. The yeah, the facts. Exactly. That's a fact. So, so you dropped out of school. What, uh, what, what, what uh, grade was that, or what year that, was that in college? That was that same time. That okay, was that so spring, sophomore, yeah, sophomore year. My sophomore year. Let me ask you this What did your mama think about that? I think she was, she was indifferent. I was uh, one of the first on that side of my family to even go to college, so mm. gotcha, gotcha. I think uh, it was more so like you figuring yourself out, you finding your way, whatever that looks like for you was yeah. okay. It could have yeah. been worse, I'm, I'm sure to her. I could have been know, dropping out of school. To to, say, without to a say plan. Crack, right, right. Without <laughs> yeah. a plan, with no plan. No plan. Because I did that. I just dropped, I, I mean, I just dropped out of school, but once I started hustling, um, school kind of came second, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because yeah. now I'm feeling I'm not my purpose, but I'm making money. Yeah. So mm. now I'm like, shit. See. So making that, so I'm sorry, but making that decision, right? Was that a hard decision to make at that time? Man, uh, the the flip side of it was school at that time had become like a means to an end of staying out of the way, staying out of trouble. Because I, I yeah. was, I was one foot in, one foot out because I was local to here. Cause mm. like, because I didn't go away to go to college, TSU was almost like a safe haven from being in the hood 24, 24. hours a day. Mm. And it was like, I probably made my schedule while I was at, at TSU two or three days a week. I might have had Tuesday and Thursday classes. Then only. the rest of the time you back, you so in the hood. I was, yeah, I was back and forth, but just, I mean, I can remember it was times I got pulled over and I could flash my TSU ID and it probably gave me the, got a benefit of Most the doubt. So yeah. I was always aware, like, all right, I, you know, the one, like, you want to kind of, you know what I'm saying, keep your, yeah, keep, yeah. You know, on the straight, on the straight narrow. narrow. Yeah. And uh, for me, it was more so the other side of my family. My my grandma was a professor at TSU at the time. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, on that side of my family, almost everybody on that side of the family went to TSU. Oh, okay. And so, so yeah. I was kind of more so like, damn, I'm gonna disappoint them, mm. you know what I'm saying? My uncle was like distinguished. Yeah, alumni. I remember, uh, you talking about the uncle, the, the uncle I met? Yeah, 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 the, yeah, 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 yeah. Marcus yeah. Pop. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, he was disappointed, he was gravely disappointed when I yeah. dropped out. It was, he called me yeah. stupid, it was just like. Cause they wanted you to follow that, that, that tradition I mean, that y'all done right, set for right. the family. Yeah, that legacy. And, uh, but I was more, man, I was kind of afraid to bring the news of my grandma 
and to my surprise, she was the most supportive out of everybody. Was you making? Was now you that's being crazy. Able, was you being yeah. able at this time when you was making this hard decision and you was telling your uncle who's prestige, right? Was you was this the time you was getting those phone calls for people to jump on for you to jump on people's songs and stuff like that? Yeah, it was all that was was simultaneous. It Did was you like, let him know like, yo, look? I mean, I honestly, I I ran about my grandma because to me. Her her stamp was more important than everybody mm, that's a fact, anyway, for sure. and uh, I guess he kind of got the news through her know, secondhand. Or how grandma grandma gonna tell it? Is. Grandma uh, gonna tell uh, he got uh, her sons, her sons, yeah, everything, yeah, right? <laughs> and uh, and so by the time she approved, I really, honestly, I didn't really care. care yeah, what, yeah, what is, but I love it kind of having simultaneous. But for her feedback to be like, you know. Uh well whatever you do like you know I trust you you yeah, do it yeah. well her, her, it her literal advice was like rap about love like it'll last longer like you see mm. LL Cool J still got a career and it kind of so I had to take a step back yeah. like LL Cool J probably was on the tail end of putting out music mm -hmm. but yeah. he had you know went Crossed to TV, over, TV movies and he still comes, probably yeah. had a hit here yeah. and there you Most know definitely. and I, I thought about it head sprung. And um, yeah, that was probably the. <laughs> bro, what don't, don't let me hit, bro. No, I'm it was like, a hit. Like it was that a was a hit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, the point was, I thought about it when she's saying this. I'm like, damn, he's been rapping since the '80s. Most definitely. And here it is, like, like for for that to be the name that, that she yeah. dropped. I was like, it was some wisdom there. Mm -hmm. She was like, yo, your subject matter. Or take you farther than, farther than you know what I'm saying than, than the trends or, or Try like to box you in. Don't and box I was you. like, damn, you know, I took from that like something to hold on to because mm. the trends was crunk club music. It was turning into trap. Yeah, street see, that's why I'm gonna ask you. At this time right here, when you was going through this phase, those was the genre of music. That's that's that what was, was emerging played. from the yeah. south, like from mm. where we was from. Yeah, and so for for the, for, for this like wise woman, wisest person I know to. Not only like encourage and support it, but also just drop that little like Gym. what you put into it, how you approach it, to kind of determine your trajectory. Mm -hmm. With all of it, it wasn't no like doubt. It wasn't. It was just kind of like I trust whatever you. If you came out of here with a degree, you still have to do your thing. Mm -hmm. That's the a back fact. End yeah. of it. So like, if you feel like you there, go for it. Like I've been hearing my students That's talk good. about you and stuff. Like I know I'm aware of what you got going yeah. on. You know. Yeah. To this day, she yeah. keep up with me. That's you know, all. Through Facebook and, and you know. Walking you know out of that dope. conversation, you knew right there. I that was, was your validation. Yeah, for and, sure. And no, you man. know what's dope though? Like even when we was in middle school and we was hanging out. That was our safe haven. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like of course we went to your to your mom's house, but yeah. if I come to your mom's house and we stay at your mom's house on Friday night, Saturday. We trying to get to grandma's house. Yeah. Yeah. So we know we get over there. We finna go to Harmon Park. We finna yeah, hoop. Yeah, yeah. We, we finna, finna, yeah, I mean, we finna let, do what. Let you be yourself. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You so know. I already know. I already know. So um, at this time, though, uh, Lito, so this time you uh, you don't went to uh, Yo Gotti, to the show in Clarksville and everything. How did the, was it paperwork involved with you and Yo Gotti? I mean, that the paperwork came later. I mean, from that okay. first conversation, like I said, for yeah. me not even knowing this is, if this is him on the other end of the phone, yeah, hanging yeah. up in his face to following up. Then he pulled up and, you know, just kind of like filling out the situation. I probably went to Memphis a few times. Yeah, okay. We did more music. Man, it, the f fast track and that, because um, I dropped Hey Name Healthy that August, August of 04. And I was working, like, between going down there, going back and forth, like, he had uh, put a studio in a spot. And just me being in love with the craft already, I'd probably record seven, eight songs just hanging around. You know, it's mm. all, okay. Just, okay. Just, just hanging go, around in Memphis just going or to, here? Going to in Memphis. Memphis. I'm, I'm going you said you to, love it because you I love mean, the craft I, so much. Yeah, 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 I mean, it was it was just making music. But mm -hmm. like I said, I was on my fourth project in, in nine months, in a mm -hmm. nine-month span by that time. Yeah. So that's 100 songs, 80 songs, something like that. Y'all need was, to listen to what he's saying, man. Yeah. That means he didn't start working. Well, he's working. Nah, nah, from the time somebody, I'm not going to say somebody, by the time people was were, were, were putting that batter in my back, like, I mean, you cold. Oh, mm -hmm. I like this. It was nothing else to do but to stay yeah. at it. Mm -hmm. Feed I, I never was gonna like rest on like, oh, I'm good. So let me just mm -hmm. just exist in that. It was like, nah, I gotta, I got room to grow. I gotta improve, and I gotta build on that. Most definitely. And so just being there, you know, it was like it's a studio here. It's an engineer, y'all got beats. 
whatever we do, whether we do a deal, whether like I'm gonna make some music. Just yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rap my ass right, off. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I see, and so, yeah. Uh, you know, but I, I still put out my own mixtape. He's working on this uh, block burners group. Uh, I guess Cash Money co- came through Memphis, had a show, and they heard the guy White. She probably shot, mm-hmm. shot okay. a song okay. in the club and wanted to sign him, but he had just did a deal with TBT. Mm-hmm. So they still reached out like, well, what else you got? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. Just being hustlers, I guess. And uh, same with him being a hustler, like, well, I got a group. I got the block burners. Mm-hmm. They didn't really, ha- I don't think they had too much music. So then it became scrambling like, we need to make some music because yeah. we got a yeah, deal on yeah, the table. Like they yeah. they want to sign the the brand almost. Yeah. Now who's, see, who is the uh, Block Burners? It was uh it was some of his homies. Family. Oh, but you're not a part nah, of it. This yeah. is, okay, this okay. Is, no, you but we was we went to a yo guy uh, in the Block Burners show. Uh, Say Zilla, Say Zilla. Nah, I don't think he's he wasn't, wasn't in there. Okay, the okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. Go ahead, but like, okay, so they got this group. Now I'm around as we trying to figure a situation yeah. out. Yeah. And then he's broken the situation, you know, third party with cash money. And uh in the process of getting the block burn to sign, they do a ten song demo, they do a bunch of songs. And um this is uh, this is one of them things, like pivotal things for mm. my career. Yo got to being the um smart guy that he is, when he goes to turn in a demo to cash money, he puts four or five of my songs on the end of the, the CD. Yeah, the yeah, CD. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, uh, and presents it like an accident. Like, he get them the music, <laughs> and they like, yeah, the deal, like, we're going to send the paperwork. They already, it was pretty much sold. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they was, yeah, yeah, but they was like, well, who is this on number 11, 12, 13? Yeah, Boy, yeah, so yeah. Like, oh, that ain't supposed to be on there. Yeah. That's somebody else from Nashville. Mm-hmm. They were, where he at? Yeah, where though, he at? Most you know of them. Yeah, that's, all, small, that's fine. Small. And so it kind of like my deal, my dealings with with your guy and company kind of kind of overlapped yeah. with the whole cash money deal that, yeah. that he was doing with 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 that group or whatever. And so uh, it didn't really pick it. It was his own situation, mm-hmm. but it happened simultaneously. Yeah, most so definitely. All this happened without paperwork. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like and uh. I guess if I knew what I knew now, that only gave me that much more leverage. Yeah, for but sure. But kind of me being the the person that I am, I just kind of went with the flow with of the flow. it. Because mm-hmm. at the same time, it's like, uh, hey, we're going to the Essence Festival down in New Orleans. This is probably before I'm dropping that on mm-hmm. Hey Not Healthy. It's like 4th of July or somewhere. Wow, so you, you about to drop it, though. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm yeah. working on my own music. Yeah. I'm doing what I'm doing. And me and Bradley ride straight from yeah. the show all the way to New Orleans about nine, ten hours straight. Shout out Bradley, man. And, and pull up and meet, you know, Birdman and Slim and Lil Wayne and all these people we've been watching on TV. For yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, it's one of them dreams of reality. Mm-hmm. Like, it's t- like it's damn, I'm here. Like you say, uh, yeah, I can I'm, do this. I'm right here. Like, they uh, they give us an advanced copy of the Carter. We look at each other laughing. We've been listening to Bootleg the whole ride down. There. Yeah. Like, <laughs> damn. Like, like, act like, oh, damn, it's the yeah, new we shit. Know, we like, know these songs. Man, we know nigga. the words. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Damn. But, but again, it's it's like kind of like, damn, like, I'm here. I'm, you know, I'm in a, this ain't, this is some, you know, unseen stuff. Like, yeah, I'm, I see I'm, y'all on TV. I don't see but y'all. But now I'm, I'm in the back behind the scenes of yeah. it. I'm getting personally introduced and people mm. are like, man, I, you snapping on this song. I'm like, damn, y'all heard that. Mm. I just recorded that a yeah. week ago. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is pretty cool. And at the same time, like, not to name drop, it's just the timeline of it all. You got artists like, when you said those other calls, I get a call at some point from, I'm thinking it's Jazzy Faye because I met him in a club passing out my mixtapes. Mm-hmm. I get a call from me and Lowe to, to fly to Atlanta. We get flown first class, and it's like something Jazzy Faye, this and that. You know, we go take the meeting. Turns out we get picked up as Coach K, who uh, yeah, runs, for sure. you know, QC now. QC, yeah, yes, sir. Coach K picks us up. We actually met him and Jazzy Faye together at uh, Is this when he Gucci Mane? Uh, nah, this is before prison. that. Okay. This is, this is uh, he's, and this is how it happens. He's managing an artist named Young Jeezy at the time. Mm. So where never we, heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, at, at the time, at, at the time, you know, what I'm saying oh, it was really relatively unknown, like on in these parts. 
what it was when when Lowe was relaying the information to me, like, hey, we got, I got this call, they want to fly us to Atlanta, Jazzy Faye, yeah, I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. You know, yeah, at this point, I'm just weighing yeah. our options. Yeah, a lot of, we know a lot who Jazzy Faye is. It turns out it's actually Jazzy Faye's artist is the, mm. was the whole message that I wasn't receiving because Jeezy had done a deal with Jazzy Faye's label at the time. He okay. did the deal with Jazzy Faye, which led to, I think, he ended up buying himself out or it turned into his own deal at mm -hmm. Def Jam. But at that time, this summer, he was that's that's how the introduction was made. So okay. I, I got on a plane thinking I'm meeting with somebody and ended and up down some, there yeah. meeting someone else. Yeah. So Coach K is like, we ride and we listen to a lot of what was what ended up being Trap or Die, a lot of the songs that was on Thug Motivation One on One. This is like yeah. summer oh four. But I ain't really I hadn't really heard of this guy. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm, I'm listening, I'm like, it's cool, yeah. but I'm like Okay, so I'm just kind of looking at low, like, yeah. we'll go with it. We go have dinner, sit down, and, uh, you know, this is this I see a lot of BMF yeah. things on people's <laughs> yeah. shirts. And, yeah. You know, yeah, I heard yeah. of their name, yeah. like, seeing the billboards and stuff. So I'm like, and it's just me and low down here, keep in mind. So we, I'm kind of peeping, you know what I'm saying, my surroundings. I ease off, like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I call some of my guys, like, hey, y'all might need to. Get on the slab tonight. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, make sure yeah, I don't yeah. get hung over a balcony down yeah, here. So, like, sure. I, you know, I yeah. don't know what what we got ourselves into. Cause, Cause you know they now. You know those those initials. I, I know it's, I, you know, I know it's more to it. Yeah, most you know definitely. What I'm saying I know it's. It looks but, <laughs> but, drug dealery. <laughs> nah, it, it just it. You know, it was what it was. Yeah. yeah. And, and like I said, I'm meeting with this person. I didn't know I was, you know, what what it, what was going on on the front end of the meeting. Everything was on the up and up, but I walked back to the table. And the first thing I hear from Jeezy is like, man, I ain't even get that much from Def Jam. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm looking yeah. low, like, man, what you gonna talk to these yeah. people? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Like, you gonna left low by itself. <laughs> man, Lota asked for a pinball number. Yeah, yeah Lota, <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, go for but, the gusto. But, uh, you know, I'm just like, I walk back, like, what's going on? He's like, man, it's cool. We gonna kick it, hit the studio, and, uh, you know, cause they like, what you on doing? Like, man, let's get in, the, let's get in the studio. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Coach yeah. playing some of the music. I hear like some of the stuff can go. I'm like, let's just make some music. I'm, I'm seeing it. I can see the, the whole picture. Yeah. Like, man, we never made it nowhere near the studio that night. We went to like three strip clubs, balling on another yeah. level. Like, I can say this was. I had the time of my life that night. Like, nah, good shit. Magic City Strokers. Uh, I think Atrium. So a lot, lot of them showed you love. Man, I was in a mix. Like this yeah. is we in a caravan with Ferraris, Lamborghinis. Like I said, I'm 19. I'm like, man, these dudes are throwing so much money and balling. Yeah, like, this yeah. is this balling. <laughs> and so, like on on two levels, I'm like, damn, I ain't heard of this guy before tonight. But every club we go to, they pumping his music. Everybody knows him. He's like, Jeezy. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He's he's the guy down here, yeah. and he's with the guys. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We with the the whole BMF like. Like I said, um, caravan mm -hmm. from from spot to spot. Like I walk in the club, all star in the building. I'm like, the fuck, they know me. Yeah, who like, told you that? <laughs> like, okay, this is heavy. Hell like, yeah, yeah, that's so what I'm, it is. Like I said, this is this is summer of '04, and I'm like, damn, maybe I want to be in this mix because, and like I said, caught up in the frenzy of it. Mm -hmm. By the end of the night, when we don't go to the studio, and I'm like, kind of when it settles. My common sense kick in. I'm like, man, this ain't like you said. This something else. This ain't rap. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. This too, yeah. Like, I don't know if you we know don't how have much, how much sense this make to tangle myself up in whatever this is mm, on yeah. another that level. That I don't Cause, yeah, yeah. Because from day one, me and the guys that I was most around day to day was trying to do this to get away from all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so yeah. I, and I also know I was like, man, if, if a lot of my guys down here with me, they'd have been trying to come up. They'd have been the trying top. to get a plug. Yeah, to like, get a plug. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I let me like, let you right quick. That's Lane That's Lane And, and, that's and I was like, <laughs> so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm like, dude the guy down there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ride with him the next day. He like, man, hit uh this three. We're in a uh six forty five. Clean as a whistle. So yeah. I never seen one before. This three is like my volume two mixtape. He was like, hit the other one. It's my volume three mixtape. He was like, man, I ain't took these out of my CD changer since uh since Coach gave them to me. Bro, how old are you? you hard. How, I'm trying to figure out how. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a, listening to my music. And this is Jeezy talking yeah. to you. This is me and Jeezy in the car. And it's like, man, 
I want to do the situation. I just got this over here with Def Jam. Like, he's telling me, the things he told me ended up coming to fruition. Yeah, this okay. is before he even made news. This, this is before yeah. any of the, this is before he was on the radio. Yeah, that's what TV, I'm saying. Any yeah. of this. And so I'm, I'm taking it to face value, but I'm like, I really heard of you yesterday. I see you got the Atlanta streets on lock, mm. but we three hours up the road. Yeah, we ain't never heard, heard, of, of, heard of you. You know what I'm fact. saying? So it's I'm like, fact. and then I walk into a conversation that was almost like low cuss you out, asking for the amount of money we looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, because when you're like, man, I ain't get that much from Def Jam. I'm kind of looking at it like, well, maybe I need to be talking to Def Jam or whoever else. You yeah, know what I'm exactly, saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not you. And, but I'm also like, but y'all... Y'all blowing it's it. Something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. got the somebody yeah, got the yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, money do right I want somewhere. do I want that money? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gonna put me in a in a different kind of mix. But yeah, long story short, like he was had got hip to my music and wanted to do a deal. So that was like and I'm t I told him straight up, I was like, Man, well I've been mean with these people and I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, figure it out. He was like, Well, it's cool, I'm gonna be up there doing a radio run in a couple of weeks, get up with you. He pulled up. And we did Grey Goose. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's, um, I had it on a, a prior mixtape and kind of had it buzzing, the original version. But you know what I'm saying? He came through and he had heard it because mm -hmm. he had Because he, he ain't took yeah, that was, shit out the car, though. Exactly. And so, you know what I'm saying? He knocked out the verse to Grey Goose in the storage. And another funny story to that is like 80% uh, of the people in the studio, because it was packed in the studio that night. Was like, man, what is he talking about? Like, like, no bullshit. Yeah, like, but no, hey, hey, let me let me vouch for that. No <laughs> bullshit. You know we fucks with you, and we fucks with Great Goose. When we like, heard this other version where this nigga said Great Goose, cranberry, and a pineapple, I and like, I busted shit like a pine. I said, man, it, I don't know who this nigga is. It, I was, I was, it was different for me. I didn't well, know. Who well, he see, was. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like time is one of the things. Mm -hmm. Time and thing. Leaving out the studio. Niggas was like, man, you, how you let dude mess your song up? <laughs> and I'm like, we were feeling it. Cause like, I left Atlanta with some of his mixtapes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, and my guys had got hip to his music and was rocking with it. So I understood the way his the style way he's right. around. It's it's the way he and I'm like, man, I'm telling you, he got it on lockdown now. This gonna go. And niggas like, nah, mm -hmm. bro, you you finna let dude mess your song. And then was casual niggas telling yeah. you that, yeah, right? This is, Shout out to casual niggas, yeah. cause I was not so, feeling that shit, bro. Within three months, now fast forward, there's some boys in the hood selling. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's I, I put, first shit I, I put Grey Goose on the radio, mm -hmm. and that song went on the radio about the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the time that that get to circulating, then I think Trap But I might have came out by January. But like, like I said, within three months, it was like. Oh, this a hit. Like yeah, the same yeah. niggas like, yeah. man, he killed that shot. Like, wait, you yeah. said that that yeah. wasn't yeah. nothing. Like, Cause yeah. I ain't gonna lie, listen, man. I wasn't introduced to Jeezy. I was only introduced to Jeezy through you. Me yeah. too. Me like, too. Like when I heard Young Jeezy on Great Goose. Goose, I didn't know who he was. Me neither. Yeah. Look, like listen, bro, I didn't have his face. I didn't know nothing. I just heard the song and instantly it was kind of different because I'm like, why he rapping like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but he was, yeah. I'm like, he making sense though. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I listen to rappers now like that. I'm like, yeah. what's Boss Man D Lo rap? But then I'm listening like, damn, okay, that nigga ripped me. Yeah. And just that Nas cars. Yeah. Just, yeah. just yeah. I, I, I didn't have me it. on style. I didn't like, it, exactly, because yeah. in this day and age, when I was growing up, hip hop, a lot of people had, when I was growing up, hip hop was different. Hip, yeah. You might rap different, you might rap different. Facts. I write like Busta Rhymes, Jay Z, sure. Eminem. These three artists, Ludacris. We can name plenty of different yeah. rappers that yeah. had characters yeah. as yeah. they. Nelly. Yeah, you yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. And we still bump them. Nowadays, it's the trend, it's yeah. the mumble rap. Whatever Facts. that you're yeah. rapping and how you look. Look, I'm looking at how you look, I'm gonna look like that. I'm looking at how you rap and that was different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we never knew who Jeezy was, but we knew who you was. So we gave Jeezy a, a opportunity because of you. I'm just saying from up here, up but, from our point of view. But you know, that was that was the thing about that record. Like, cause one thing I knew by then is like, he had the streets down there. Down there, I saw, but you I saw that, it. I saw yeah. it with my with own eyes. eyes. So it was yeah. like, I tuned all that out. Like, man, hey. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Is this is a good look. This yeah. is a good look the for me. The same way, then that record had Yo Gotti on it. He ended up putting a verse on it. Yeah. 
at that time we were three that artists from three different places that was right kind of at the same level. Mm -hmm. Like cusp. everybody knows us where we from. Yep. But we kind of at the cusp of breaking through elsewhere. Yeah. Like yo, God actually probably was in the lead in that. Like he was somebody in Nashville. He was coming mm -hmm. kind of Nashville and doing shows already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he was in the lead. He and, was in the um, lead. So you won't trouble die. Yeah, that song. That's, yeah, I was like, okay, great cool song, Trapper Dye, number 11, number 17. I didn't know this. Hey, I, did, yeah, I, I, I forgot that. about that. I, I so, already knew it back in the day, but I was So, like, so it was, that's that's what I'm saying, the timeline of all this. Like, we didn't, obviously, we didn't do a deal, because I was telling them, you know what I'm saying, like, I got this cash money trying to kind of get in the, in the mix now. I actually got a call from Def Jam somewhere in the mix of all that. Then it was like, Def Jam wanted to buy my song, and that was some in-between stuff. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I mean, but how have all of it played out? Like, I didn't do the deal over there. We did the record. Um, they ended up reaching out like, hey, can we put it? We can we put it on Trap or Die? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I probably had it on like 20 radio stations, working there regionally, trying to trying to make it work. Yeah, we nigga, put it on. Yeah. We put it on Trap or Die. It it went even farther. That was you know what I'm saying. That was a blessing, and um, did a lot for me in terms of. Presence mm -hmm. and I like that, but um, then I closed the deal around the same time with Cash Money, and um, we we didn't ever get the we didn't get that verse cleared. You know what I'm saying? It's back to the business of it. It's like hindsight. We probably should have got the verse clear when we did it in the stores that day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, verse clear, but your verse, Jeezy, Jeezy verse, the feature, the feature. Okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like I never asked nobody to get on that song. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I'm coming to Nashville. Let's get in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, even this even this is time, I'm sorry, I ain't even stop you, but I'm trying to catch up. So even when the Great Goose song is already on Trap, Trap or Die. Die, this is when you, there was no paperwork, and they was like, nah, he can't it get was, released. You know, that was a mixtape. That was the DJ Drama Project. Yeah. And then, like I said, simultaneously, I'm closing the deal. I probably closed the deal with Universal Motown or Cash Money mm -hmm. around the same time Trapper Die is dropping. Mm. So now it's like, I, I've i turned in 15 songs to Cash Money by this time. We damn near got an album worth of music. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm just making music. and um, But we can't really push the button on this song with, with Universal because this verse not clear. Now, another part that, that's hindsight to me is like, the amount of money they were asking for to clear the song, if I could do it all over, we just paid them with a smile and kept it pushing. Mm. But I think that's where like pride, ego, like I ain't kinda, about, yeah. kinda like, yeah, yeah kinda right, over, yeah. like gets in the way of the business. Mm. Cause uh, I guess I felt like, man, you, you want to work with me, or you, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, damn, man, it's like doubling back, and um, maybe because I like, if I was in that same situation, I wouldn't charge you, mm -hmm. so maybe I took exception to paying for it, but like, as I grow in business, I'm like, it was worth something, so I should've just paid what yeah. it was worth. Was somebody and, else reaching out, or was they reaching out to you? Like, we got a name drop, was like, a. The company uh, reaching out or did the artist reach out and be like, yeah, bro, I can clear it if you pay me this? I mean, it was it was the middle man. It was the people doing the business. Yeah, okay. it's middle man in yeah, by I mean, that. by the time, yeah. like, we probably, yeah. we did a bunch of shows together during that time, and we probably ain't really too much of a conversation. And, but, but like I said, just being young, some of us being young, being ignorant, being prideful and yeah. otherwise, like, whoever was talking to whoever, I had a budget. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was I was in the the industry. I was a signed artist on yeah. a major. Like that's what your budget is for. Just to move the pieces and make things yeah. happen. But it was like, and it wasn't just me because it was other people like kind of with a hand in on on the budget, on the you know. And I and, and at that time it sounded like the craziest thing, or the worst idea in the world. Looking back, I'm like, well, could have just paid and just. Mm -hmm. Went on and moved forward and whatever we was gonna do next. Cause what, you got momentum yeah. going. Yeah, right during this time right here. Yeah, and uh, that's just that's just one of the things yeah. that happened how it happened. And Good but shit, like man. like we was talking about like offers and deals and all all this was happening in a six month six month time. So shit but, fast. fast. So it was a lot going on. Just Bro, day, yeah. day dropping in day your out. shit in November uh, and then of O three and you telling me by August of O four O four. Now it's conversation with different labels. Yeah, it's and momentum. by January, 05, deals is closed. 
And you you want cash like, money? Hell yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, you want cash money? I've been right. seeing you buy. We, yeah. man, we he was, was just in the video. He was in the video. You want help me get this shit, bro? Why he laughing? Why he laughing about that? No, this is more mental than this is because like like I said, it go from like it go from a dream to 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 reality on one level, and then it's it's also like what what's worth what to you? Because all that's happening, and it was like, damn, this is happening. But it's also like, are you gonna just be happy to be here, or are you gonna keep doing what you Ooh, did? That's to, a good one. That got you here to you take you to stop. the next level. Some people Cause, stop. Not because mm-hmm. part of that advice I was getting was like, man, slow down, put on all, all this free music because mm-hmm. we hustling the music now, and I, I understand it is as advice. Yeah. But then on the flip side, I'm like, hell, putting out this music is what got me on y'all radar. It's exactly. what got me. Exactly. It's what got it's us working. having a conversation. Yeah, it's so working. it's like, you know. Like I think, um, I think things happen in perfect order, and things happen how they were supposed to happen. But if I could have uh, undone things and done them any different, it would have been like, let's just figure out how to pump this independent and, and build the value. Let's Most do what definitely. the Houston artists have been doing, yes. and just put our get our music in the marketplace and try to sell it. And that way, when y'all want to come and and partner up. I can demand them bigger numbers you have a bigger I leverage, have it right? on, on paper that yeah. I've already, you know what I'm saying? I got a hard ticket value here. I, I sell this, this many units, so that that project y'all want cost this much, or I'm going to be the only one to sign mm-hmm. off on this because I, I know it can mm-hmm. already make this. Like, I was so new, so fresh. And, and, and it I, was fast. Like, listen, yeah. when I'm, you keep saying it because I'm listening to you. This yeah. shit is happening fast. Relative and you on the fast. road, too, yeah, I'm as this around. shit going yeah. on. Dang. That, that was the, maybe the, the the other side of it was like being like a tug of war between where I came from and where I was going. Because, gotcha. um, you know, I could have got away, moved away, and just 100% committed to to the the, the task, the goal at hand. But I, it was as much as it was like, man, you, hey, you the one, yeah, you the hometown yeah. hero. I still wanted to be visible. You was, I wanted though. to be present, and that's that's a hindrance too. Hell yeah, cause your Cause, name was in a lot of shit. But yeah, we, that's, but that's we, and, I, and I'm just on the outside looking in. Your yeah, name man. was in a lot of shit, but most definitely you somebody that the artist. Cause at this time it was only two for me. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. Young Buck, mm-hmm. Starlito. That's it, right? You know what I'm saying? That we, I, that I'm able to know that hip hop is not fake. Yeah, mm-hmm. cause I'm looking at hip hop only through TV. Yeah, you always say that. I tell everybody that, like, you bro. You said nobody was like really tangible. Yeah, yeah nobody, yeah, nobody yeah, I yeah. ever seen. Even when the the Cool Daddy Fresh, the Pistols, these guys, I'm not gonna say they wasn't tangible, but for me, for me, Nashville, I yeah. didn't get to see them a lot, right? Yeah. But watching, and I didn't get, I I, I was on the box to watch them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when you see in Rap City, when now I'm 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 a hot boy, I think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm watching that's you. That's yeah, that's I'm watching that's you. That's you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't not, my brother them EZ. Yeah. So my brother mm-hmm. them more excited that Pistol is uh, communicating with EZ. Right, right, I'm excited right. for you because you, and, and not even it's more of our demographic. We didn't know who 50 Cent was. Yeah, it's more of our demographic. We know. I, know. I, 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 like, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so more it was just more like that. That's why I always say that, you know, it wasn't in my face. But when you made it in our face, like you made that shit in our face. That's a fact.